Well, we're going to uh, close your show now uh, with an act that uh, we have been doing around the world. In fact, uh, we started doing this in Paris just about, uh, we did this in Paris just about uh, two years ago around Thanksgiving. And then we were asked back uh, to do it at Christmas time. And we had such a wonderful time in Paris. Uh, and I want to show you just why. There's a gentleman, would you help me, sir? Just for a moment. Yes, just for a moment. Yes, good. Come on, yeah, come on over. Yeah, thank you very much. Good. Let's give him a nice big hand. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, if you'll stand right here, sir. Thank you very much. Right over here. All right, I've got a piece of rope here. I want you to take it, tug on it, pull on it. Make sure there's just an ordinary piece of rope you might find around the house. Yeah, my house. All right, let's bring Francis. <laughs> let's bring Francis out now in what we call a gypsy mystery. Here she is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, if you want to stand right over here, get close and watch. Okay, just stand right over here. <laughs> All right, we'll make another knot. Make another knot. Good. All right, if you make get it right over here, sir. Thank you. This. I'll show you the room. <laughs> Oh, now you know why I had such a good time in Paris about two years ago. You want to uh, make another knot right there and tie it tight? <laughs> See your side. Keep your eyes to the front. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, that's good. You can go look at them and give them a nice big smile. <laughs> you stick your tongue out if you like. <laughs> you missed that. Hey, look at this. Woo! Wow! <laughs> Three of you, thank you very much. People come up to me all the time after the show, ladies and gentlemen, they say, Fielding, how did you get into magic? Actually, I think it was part of the parole system. <laughs> My grandfather, Louis Young, from Tulare, California, showed me my first magic trick when I was 10 years of age. As a matter of fact, it was on my birthday. He sent me out to the garage. He said, Butch, he used to call me Butch. He said, Butch, go get Grandpa an empty paper sack and an empty Coca-Cola bottle. I brought that in the house. He placed the bottle inside of the sack. And ladies and gentlemen, here's the first miracle I ever witnessed. My grandfather waved his hand once, twice, three times. <laughs> and as if by magic, that bottle disappeared. I said, Grandpa, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. He says, no, Butch, this will be the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Making that bottle come back. <laughs> <laughs> By golly, there it was, right back in that sack, just like my granddaddy said. <laughs> you know, some of you people have no sense of family whatsoever. <laughs> I will do that one more time, just in case you blinked. He waved his hand once, twice, three times. <laughs> you know, I'm having fun with this crowd this afternoon, but understand one thing. That bottle disappeared, and that is the reason why I'm standing in front of you today. Thank you. Oh, you don't have to be a psychic to figure out what you guys are thinking, but I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming out to our little show today. Because you know what, folks? Without you, this room is awfully quiet. Do you all have your hands on your money yet? Huh? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. You see, I'm not a pickpocket. I'm not a robber. I'm a magician. Actually, I've been the victim of a robber one time in Holland, in Amsterdam. This was a guy on the street, and uh, he took my ring, and not only my ring, but also my watch. And finally, 
He took all my money here, except the empty wallet. I was allowed to keep it. Nice guy, huh? Eh? <laughs> anyway, he had all my things, and he did something pretty clever. He had an envelope, and this envelope had his name and address on it. Oh. And a stamp. So basically what he did, he put all the things in the envelope, and he ran away with it and put it in a post box. So whenever the, the police comes, he has nothing on it. Right. But uh, he was a bit disappointed when the postman came, because then he had no ring, no watch, no money, nothing at all. Yeah. Because I still had my ring, my watch, and all my money. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.